Got the coffee. Oh yeah, a good way to start the day. This is looking pretty good too once the weather gets nicer. We got the iced coffee. Yeah, these guys are awesome. They got some donuts too. I think we had that one last time. It's like a Chororo. Or Chororo? I think that's how you say it. Yeah, I needed this one this morning. Great Burrs! Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you guys are tuning in and creeping with. I do appreciate it. I'm riding no hands. Got the coffee in one and the camera in the other. And we're off. We're back to Portland. Currently on the Springwater Corridor. Gonna do some early morning creeping. A couple spots I've been meaning to check out. And, oh, about a week or so ago, we did the Garden Burgers. Uh, the Garden Burger was created in Gresham. We did the original location. And today we're gonna check out the house that the guy that started Garden Burger was able to build, build with his fortune. Stay tuned. Heading into Southeast Portland. It's gonna be a good day. Appreciate you guys being here. That coffee's hitting good. It's gonna be, it's a good day. It's gonna, well, it's already a good day. It's gonna be even better. Morning, bro. Good morning. Good to see ya. That guy always sits on that bench. He's a nice man. All right, heading out. Old timey truck here. That is incredibly beautiful. Wow. Classic car alert. Southeast, we did a video on this place a few years back too. And just did a video recently in Gresham. And this is the Art Deco house built by the foam, the, uh, well, former house. Well, you may still own it actually, of Garden Burger. The guy that created the Garden Burger right here in Portland. Well, he created it in Gresham, which we did the video on. And then he had this house built years later. And at one point, I don't know if it's still here, but in the sidewalk, it did have his like signature. I think it said Garden Burger or something like that on the sidewalk. I think it was back there on the driveway. But yeah, pretty dang cool house looking house compared to the rest of these houses are like totally different looking. Yeah, I could have sworn there was like an autograph. But yeah, pretty much had a restaurant in Gresham and was kind of failing well he was doing okay and then he had an idea to kind of just mix mash a whole bunch of different ingredients and uh garbanzo beans you know all things not meat obviously vegan or vegetarian however you would call it and created the garden burger right there in gresham pretty dang cool yeah i wish i could find that signature at one point it was right on the sidewalk these roses are gorgeous. But yeah, pretty dang cool looking house, I have to say. And it kind of sticks out here because none of these homes are like this. I'm not sure if he still resides here or not, but pretty dang cool. This looks pretty cool. The cosmic pizza cone, we got the little alien here. We are on Hawthorne now. Man, this place is neat. It's got like a little outdoor seating. Oh, there's a little alien right there too. And this was the home to Rovente Pizza for many years, which I absolutely loved. So we'll have to swing back by here at some point. Looks like they got UFO burgers. That's pretty cool. What caught my eye is the uh, pizza cone though. Those look good. What a cool place, man. This was uh, Rovente pizza Rovente for years. Pizza, yeah, for years. But you guys got it all decked out like space now. That's awesome. Oh, he's got all the turtles up there. Terminator 2, Mortal Kombat. Nice, you can get your video game fixed while you're waiting for your pie. He's got all these art pieces. Oh, this is cool, man. Cosmic cones, very neat. And UFO burgers, look at those buns. Yeah, man, are you from the neighborhood? Uh, I used to be. I moved out to East County, but I was out here off 34th and Yamhill for years. He's got the killer clowns up there, too. <laughs> that is so great. Whoever did all this art in here did a great job. Yeah, he's, uh, his name is Pablo. He's a local artist. Is he? Yeah, he does pretty much all the dispensaries around here. Oh, that's cool, he's man. All the, all the artwork there. Well, we're going to have to come back through and grab a bite. Oh Area really 51 well. tomato mozzarella bit. Oh my god, those look amazing. It's like a pizza crust that's in a cone. Yeah. Ah, that's so cool. 
Hey man, thanks for sharing your spot. I'll definitely yeah, yeah, be yeah. back. Oh heck yeah, man. And I just inhaled a donut right here at my buddy's 7-Eleven right here on Hawthorne. So yeah, I used to work right down here when this was Starbucks and I would walk over pretty much every day and get a coffee and reminisce with my buddy. So I had to stop in and say hello and grab another coffee. Plus I love 7-Eleven's coffee anyways. So he's nice and hot here. All right, so this is dangerous biking through. Lad's edition now, coffee in hand with the camera, no hands, which probably isn't the smartest thing because I actually dropped my camera last week doing this. Luckily it landed the other way, not on the screen or face down. It's so pretty through here. I had to risk it. Just cutting through Lad's edition, got the Creeper Cruiser pulled in here. This is called Lad's Circle, which kind of loops all the way around southeast here. And I used to come sit right on this bench on my lunch breaks at Starbucks. I'd walk down that alley and post up right here, have a coffee. Usually by then I'd have like, be like my third or fourth one of the day. I was drinking like Vente six shot caramel lattes back then just to get <laughs> all caffeined out to work. So pretty through here. But I'm pretty much just gonna post up right here on this bench for a minute, enjoy some of my coffee, and then we'll get back to creeping. But I wanted to kind of reminisce. Yeah, I really didn't like that job at Starbucks either. That was, uh, I liked the coffee aspect of it, and I did learn to be a barista with them, but I just didn't, I just didn't really care for it. Too many rules and policies and just, I don't know. I don't want to badmouth Starbucks because I definitely like their coffee, but it just wasn't the right spot for me. Yeah, this is great. We're creeping through southeast, and look at this old ambulance. And the back doors were open. I thought, uh-oh, is there a patient? But no, there is a full, like, house in the back. Yeah. And you built it. So the guys who built this out are Yeti Builds. They're based out of Sandpoint, Idaho now, but they were in Portland at the time. But Very I've had this cool. for like seven years. So cool. Yeah. A lot of room, a lot of space. Yeah. Cute cat alert, too. <laughs> Hi, little kitty. I'm cleaning it out. I like it. The viewers know that I'm oh yeah, thanks for your time too. This was great. Thanks for yeah. sharing. That's really cool of you. Have a good one. Yeah, this is neat, man. Look at this. It's an old, old ambulance converted. Still has the lights on it and the grill. That's so that's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That'll dial you into being a creeper today. You can also ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. Till next time, creeper out for now. Peace.